Companies and businesses are always looking for an edge on their competitors, and quite often their name and logo is just not enough. But that's where slogans come into the picture. They are meant to make advertising more memorable. For example, you may not remember every Kentucky Fried Chicken commercial that you've seen, but you definitely know it's finger licking good. Sometimes companies get it right, and sometimes they are way off. In today's video, we will take a look at some of the worst advertising slogans. When you think of Sega, I'm sure you think of game consoles and Sonic the Hedgehog. They became a major player in the market, but they were always reaching for more. This particular ad appeared in the UK. The more you play with it, the harder it gets. I don't know how it went over there, but it would not have done well in the US. Clearly, this was no accident, and they knew what they were doing. Just look at the imagery and then read the fine print. Sega was getting their game on. Reebok has been a major player in the shoe market for quite some time now. Perhaps they were looking for something along the lines of Nike's Just Do It when they came out with this little gem. Cheat on your girlfriend, not your workout. This ad campaign was used in Germany and it was quickly pulled after receiving numerous complaints from women. It was not the runaway hit that they had hoped for. Dr. Pepper has been one of the biggest players in the soda market for many years. Their original formula with 23 flavors has remained the most popular choice for many consumers. But in late 2011, they came out with Dr. Pepper 10 and it was not for women. It's funny how a drink that is built on flavor had an ad with such poor taste. I never tried the soda, but I'm sure it wasn't any better. Even the fast food giant McDonald's hasn't been immune to poor advertising. There's nothing like a huge billboard with this image and saying, open your snack hole and I'm loving it. If that's not bad enough, then how about this one? Painfully thick and recruiting now. Wait, what kind of milkshake are we talking about? This billboard is advertising business insurance. You only know what you're made of when you've been stuffed a few times. The odds are they barely got anything from this one. Navia advertised their invisible antiperspirant for black and white with this saying, white is purity. Nothing wrong with this one, right? It's A-O-K-K-K. -K -K. Needless to say, this ad campaign stunk and it was quickly pulled. Bic, the famous lighter and pen company, came out with this remarkable ad to celebrate Women's Day. Look like a girl, act like a lady, think like a man, work like a boss. Son of a Bic, that's bad. I bet they wish they could write that one off. Does smog have you in the dumps? Don't worry, 7-Eleven has your back. If we can't have fresh air, at least we can have fresh muffins. I gotta admit, it does look good enough to inhale. Hmm, the beer that beer would drink from Cooper's. Would that be cannibalism? Clearly, the guy that thought up this ad was drunk, but the beer probably was too. It's amazing what you can do with two fingers and a thumb. But keep your thoughts out of the gutter because this ad is for a bowling alley. Pretzel chips from the snack factory may be good, but their advertising is not. You can never be too thin and taste as good as skinny feels. Kind of seems like it's promoting an eating disorder. This brand is still being sold with Rethink Your Pretzel on it. Those are interesting words to choose after those signs. Vagina? <clears throat> <coughs> wow. I don't even know what to say about this one. The ad is bad, but so is the placement of the photo in the article to the left. Imagine, more snacks than you can imagine. I'm pretty sure I know what they were smoking in this business meeting. It was definitely too much of the good stuff. I think I'm having side effects from just reading this one. 
Check out this ad promoting safe sex in the UK. Would you give up this for this? Beware the baby trap. Use a condom. Cover your PlayStation, boys. This bursa kebab says after dinner you can stab your date. I hope they're talking about the fruit, because otherwise you're killing your business. Maria Tash makes fine jewelry, but they also have something for every hole. Hmm, sounds holistic, but it could also be problematic. Nothing gives you more confidence in the Uzbekistan Airways than this sign with the slogan, Good luck. Just look at that plane disappearing in the clouds forever. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. The sunglasses shack has been sitting on faces since 2001. Are these for the sun or the moon? Some slogans are really deep, like this one from Hilton. Travel should take you places. Who came up with this? Paris? Genius. I've always thought that UPS had a great one. What can Brown do for you? Well, if it's Doc Brown, he could send me back to the 1980s in a DeLorean. Bloomingdale's had this beauty in their 2015 holiday catalog. Spike your best friend's eggnog when they're not looking. It's not the best way to advertise clothing, and they apologized for it not long after it came out. Definitely gives off some serious stalker vibes. I'm not quite sure why Sprite chose to go with these advertisements. She's seen more ceilings than Michelangelo, and you're not popular, you're easy. It seems like it has nothing at all to do with soda. Dos Equis has really been heavy on their advertising campaigns, but this one just seems terrible in multiple ways. Approach women like you do wild animals, with caution and a soothing voice. Are those golf clubs they're holding? We have all heard of storks delivering babies, but in cellophane? I know it's supposed to keep things fresh, but that baby, it doesn't look so good in there. Nothing sucks like an Electrolux. Normally, I would say it's good when a vacuum sucks, but this one probably doesn't work right. It looks like a tube of toothpaste. This advertisement is from Drummond Sweaters, and it says that men are better than women, unless they are indoors. This brand was popular, but probably not with the ladies. Marlboro may be the king of cigarettes, but this 1950s ad didn't stand the test of time. Before you scold me, Mom, maybe you'd better light up a Marlboro. I think it's safe to say that this ad went up in smoke. Here is another cigarette ad that doesn't look or sound good today. Blow in her face and she'll follow you anywhere. I don't think too many women were following this one, because when is the last time that you've seen someone smoking this brand? Want to get your special lady in your life the perfect gift for Christmas? How about a Hoover? It's guaranteed to suck. Loves Baby Soft, because innocence is sexier than you think. Hmm, can you say pedophile? If you wore Van Hoosen ties in the 1960s, you could show her it's a man's world. Ah, who wants to be tied down? There's no doubt that brands are always working hard to come up with new business strategies to keep their products fresh and relevant. But many of these ads seem like they didn't even think about it. Some of these older ads may have been popular when they came out, but they're horrible now. If we've learned anything, it's that companies will always make some poor choices in advertising, and sometimes it will actually affect their business. Can you think of any other bad slogans or ad campaigns? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.